Merchant Fulfill. Now, I know during the holidays, we're all busy, and especially with things kind of opening back up again, there'll, there'll be some of the events that we've been missing out on the past year or so, two years, whenever, however long it's been. Um, but we're starting to kind of get back into gathering, so we're going to be busier than ever. So why in the world am I telling you to merge and fulfill when we're already busy, when it's the busiest time of the year? Because you're in business, in retail, in Q4, the end. Like, do it all if you want, if that suits you. I'm going to be doing some Merchant Fulfill because there are things that just won't get to Amazon on time. I have been burned by Amazon before to where you send in something or I've done like a reorder and then it doesn't get there on time. And then you're selling Chris trying to sell Christmas tree stands on January 10th. Like, it doesn't work. So Merchant Fulfilling, maybe 50% of like, say you buy 100 units of something. Maybe keep 25 to Merchant Fulfill and send the rest to Amazon. That way, while it's in transit to Amazon, while Amazon's checking it in, while they're getting their stuff together to be able to check in your inventory on time, you also can still make sales.